Hey, my name is Eric Worrell, and in this video, I'm going to show you how I took this back patio from looking from that to this. Uh, you can see that I've stained the concrete. Again, another image here where you can see where it looked like before, and now it looks like this. Uh, I have painted concrete before. You definitely don't want to go that way, trust me. And what we're going to be covering in this video are the following topics. We're going to talk about cleaning the surface, etching the concrete, mixing the stain, applying your first coat, allowing dry time and applying the second coat and going over everything. I'm gonna show you how to do it with a product called ProLine Pro Stain. Uh, I'm gonna show you an image here on the screen of exactly what that is. And what I'm going to be uh, letting you know too is I worked with a company called Deco Crete Supply who uh, sells this product and who is super helpful because I was able to call them and t show them pictures of exactly what I'm looking at, what you were just looking at a moment ago and uh, get information from them. And I'm gonna ask them to comment on this video and answer questions that you guys have in the comments of this video because they're super helpful. So to kick things off, we're gonna talk about preparation. You wanna make sure that all your debris, loose concrete, coatings, paints, oils, releases, must be removed and you want to do this through washing acid washing grinding or stripping so in my particular case i did a power washer if you are using a power washer you want to make sure that it's at least a 3000 psi power washer um, you can add chemicals at this point too there is a product called duraclean um, i did not use duraclean or dura etch uh, what i did uh, when i got past the power washing stage you can see it now is i applied a muriatic acid uh, this is really important that when you're doing this, you're wearing gloves, eye protection, and you're being careful because this is very powerful stuff. Uh, but what you see on the screen right now is the muriatic acid I use. It's kind of a green uh, form of it. Uh, one tip on that, when you're mixing it in a watering can like I used here, I just bought one that I planned on throwing out because I'm not going to use it again. Um, make sure you put the water in first and then carefully pour the muriatic acid into the water after the fact you don't want the acid in the base and then pouring the water in and having it splash all over the place so to recap up to this point we've power washed everything now we're putting on the muriatic acid and now what you can see here is i'm using a stiff bristled brush to just move the acid around and work it into the concrete and this is going to etch the concrete so that it'll absorb the stain and be able to keep it if you don't do this process this step here from my understanding uh the stain will not adhere and actually absorb into the concrete and it's not going to stay and probably after a winter or something like that it's going to look like garbage so we want to do that so here we're looking at what it looks like after after everything is dried up and now I'm going to be showing you a little spot here I wanted to kind of point and highlight that because you can tell that there was some marks left over but it actually covered up pretty good so pro stain uh, this is part one uh, you're gonna be mixing a three-part kit here so uh, you're gonna empty part one liquid into the bucket and you fill the uh, bottle with water to add to the bucket as well so uh, that's what I'm showing you right here I'll speed this up so we don't have to you know wait too long on this so we're just emptying part one in, filling water in and adding it to the bucket so once the uh, part one is in uh, with uh, adding uh, one bottle of water as well uh, we're going to empty part two of the liquid into the bottle as you can see here and now we're filling the bottle uh, with water again to add to the bucket and mixing again with the drill mixer. The last step, part three here, um, it's a uh, it's already kind of liquid a little bit, but this is our actual stain. And uh, this is an interesting part. It says to add two to four jars of additional water. Uh, I added four. I found for the final product, I wish I went with three to two uh, because what I believe it would do is actually darken the stain a little bit because it wouldn't be as watered down. It does say for standard job sites, four jars is recommended, but if you have um, a darker color that you're covering, you'd want to use two jars and that would be recommended. And again, you want to mix it thoroughly with the drill mixer. And now you have about a pot life of eight to 16 hours, depending on the temperature of this product. So you can see this broom head right here. It's almost like a, uh, a window broom. It's very soft bristled. It's a very uh, gentle process. One thing you want to be aware of is to agitate the mixture in the bucket each time entering the bucket to obtain more material uh, and make sure that it's constantly getting mixed up because it will settle. And then you're going to apply a broom full of mixture to the concrete and spread with circular and figure eight motion as far as it will spread. No pressure is needed on the application. So you can see what I did here is kind of more straight lined a little bit. I uh, kind, of, kind of messed that up in my opinion uh, because you do want it to be doing circular and figure eight motions and uh, continue to spread and broom it until it does not puddle. So you're really just spreading it out, making sure it's not puddling. And again, you're placing the application broom in the bucket 
agitating the mixture with the broom all the way to the bottom of the bucket and then applying a new broom filled with stain next to the previous area, spreading the material as far as it will spread, making sure to overlap the areas so color stain is applied evenly. And you always wanna maintain a wet edge on whatever you're doing uh, so that you can feather this together as you're moving through the product. So as you're looking through this, you're just continuously brooming over the areas that you have done uh, so that the color will dry evenly. This is not like painting where you put on wet paint and then you just let it dry. You continuously are brushing the, the head, the uh, brush itself onto the concrete until it dries. Uh, and then once we get going into this, at a certain point in the drying time, you should not walk on it until it's completely dry to touch. Um, and it is best to use the applicator broom right to and around the edges, but a bristle brush can be used in corners and edges if needed. Uh, in my particular case, it got a little tight around the corner of the house and uh, underneath the siding, so I, I got a bristled brush and actually did this manually uh, by hand. It says additional coats can be applied one hour after the stain is dry to touch not tacky. So you can check it with a wet cloth, wiping the surface to see the stain uh, comes off at all on the cloth. If it does, wait for further drying to apply additional coats. Uh, for maximum durability, uh, they recommend sealing with a Duro Echo Seal. Again, I did not do this in my particular case. I mean, you can see that in my case, it was just a really ugly patio, trying to stain it, bring it to a more kind of neutral, warm color. Uh, there is a crack in it, um, but I'm just kind of testing this out. Uh, I, I learned by doing, and then I share it on YouTube for you guys. And I, I enjoy reading the comments that people leave because some people say, hey, you know, this would have worked better if you did this or that. Um, I'm cool with that stuff. I, I mean, that's how I learn. That's how you guys learn. And hopefully Deco Crete Supply will, uh, again, uh, be putting in comments below of things that they maybe would have done differently or just tips and advice on this. If you guys have questions, feel free to ask. Um, I, I'm going to link to them too on the um, in the description if you want to check out their site. They do a lot of different stuff as far as like different types of products for beyond staining concrete. You can actually put in uh, patio looking uh, products where like there's stamps, rubber stamps that come down and it'll make it look like you have stone even though it's just a really thin um, concrete uh, top layer. They, they do some cool stuff so I would recommend checking it out. So again, going back to curing and dry times, uh, dry times will vary uh, with temperature and humidity. Do not get it wet for 24 hours. So you wanna look at the weather report and make sure that you got 24 hours of sun, which was difficult for this project for me because it's been raining a lot in Buffalo lately. But just to recap this video, um, for a few hundred dollars, I think it's adds so much warmth to my backyard where now it's just, it doesn't look like there's just this concrete slab. I mean, it does a little bit, but it, it looks like it's meant to be there more where before it was just like, why did somebody put a concrete slab behind this house? I think that's so silly. Uh, this has been uh, this has been a fun project to work on. It took me all in all, it took me a full day to do it, but obviously there's a lot of break in between uh, letting things dry and whatnot. So if you guys found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. Um, I will link here to uh, other videos that you might find interesting as well from the Deco Crete Supply YouTube channel. All right, guys, uh, until the next video, take care and good luck on your project. And of course, comment below with your questions and thoughts. All right, guys, take care.